If you are struggling to understand Dodge and Burn for scale touching, this video is going to help you understand Dodge and Burn and how to use it for scale touching. Now, there are three types of Dodge and Burn. There's Contour Dodge and Burn, there's Corrective Dodge and Burn, and there's Macro Dodge and Burn. And I'm going to explain all of them in a bit. But first, let's remove the blemishes from this image. Also, you can use any Dodge and Burn action you have, it works the same way. But for me, I'm going to be using the Williams Academy for this tutorial. And like I said earlier, I'm just quickly going to remove the blemishes from this image before I start explaining Dodge and Burn. Because if we start applying Dodge and Burn to this image right now without removing the blemishes, it's not going to make the image look good. Now to remove the blemishes, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on Command J first or Control J if you're using the Windows. Then I come to this Williams Academy, click on the Remove tool right here. You can use the spot label actually if you want to use it, but I prefer to use the remove tool to move blemishes. So I'm just going to click on this remove tool right here. Once I click on this, it's just going to create a new texture adjustment layer for me right here. So I want to zoom in and just paint on any blemishes I want to remove like this. So make sure sample layer is selected and also uncheck this remove after each stroke so that you can select multiple blemishes to remove at once. So I'm just going to quickly remove the blemishes from this image, all right, like this. So I'm just sampling the blemishes I want to remove, so you can see. Now let me just click OK so you can see the before and the after, all right. You can see it has moved blemishes from this image, see the before and the after, the before and the after. So that's what I'm going to be doing with the remove tool. I'm just going to paint on any blemishes I want to remove like this and just quickly remove it with the remove tool. Also, when removing blemishes, make sure you take your time to do it. Okay? So I'm just going to be fast about this. So we've removed the blemishes from this image. So you can just take your time to remove the blemishes from your image. See the before and the after. The before and the after. After removing the blemishes, it's time to go into Dodge and Burn properly. All right. Now, what is Dodge and Burn? Dodge and Burn simply means brightening and darkening. So, Dodge is to bright, while Burn is to darken. And like I said earlier, there are three types of Dodge and Burn: the Corrective Dodge and Burn, the Contour Dodge and Burn, and the Macro Dodge and Burn. For the Corrective Dodge and Burn, what we want to do, we want to make the obvious place that is looking too bright a little bit darker and the obvious place on the image that is located dark a little bit brighter. So that is corrective dodge and burn. All right, so to do that, I'm going to come to my camera left academy. First of all, I'm going to create an helping layer. So as I create this helping layer, it's going to help me see where to dodge and where to burn. So I'm just going to turn on this dodge and burn curves and also turn on this black and white layer right here. So as I turn that on, if I zoom in on this image, you can see the parts of the image that are dark are now more visible, while the parts of the image that are looking too bright are now also more visible. So for example, this part right here, you can see they are looking a bit too dark. So I'm just going to dodge them, which is to brighten them. All right. This part that are looking too bright, this part right here, I'm just going to burn them, which is darken them. So just remember, burn is to darken and dodge is to brighten, all right? So I'm just going to delete this layer. So to do my corrective dodge and burn, I'm going to come to this Williams Academy. Under the dodge and burn, I'm going to click on global right here. Once I click on global, it's going to open this group for us. Inside this group, we have the mid darkening, we have the strong darkening, we have the mid brightening, and the strong brightening. So remember, if we want to dodge, which is to brighten, we are going to be working on this brightening layer. Since we are doing corrective dodge and burn, I'm going to be working on this mid bright right here because I don't want the effect to be too much. Since we are just doing the obvious place on the image. All right. Also, for the bunny, I'm going to be using this mid darkening right here since we are working on the obvious part of the image that are looking too dark. Remember, we are dodging the dark part of the image, which is to brighten the dark part of the image. And we are burning the bright part of the image which is to darken the bright part of the image. So that's dodge and burn. Now, once I do that, I'm going to come to my mid brightening right here. Now, let me show you how it works. With my mid brightening layer selected, I'm going to pick up my normal brush tool. Make sure I'm using a soft round brush. All right. 
take my opacity to 2%. Once I take my opacity to 2%, I'm just going to gradually brush. So you don't have to zoom in inside. Since this is a corrective dodge are born, remember we are doing the obvious place. I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this and just dodge this dark part of the image. All right, just to make this part a little bit brighter. Remember, make sure you're using a white brush. If it's on black brush, just change it to white brush and just paint on the parts of the image that are looking obviously too dark. Now, let me quickly show you the before and after. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see the effect right there. So I'm going to continue doing this for the whole of the image. So this part right here are looking a bit too dark. I'm just going to dodge it. I think I'm going to take the opacity to about 4% and just paint. All right, so like this, paint on this part. The obvious part of the image that are looking too dark, I'm just going to dodge them. And the obvious part of the image that are looking too bright, I'm going to burn them. That's what I'm doing. All right, so let me just quickly show you an obvious place so you can have an idea of what this collective dodge and burn is. Okay, now take a look at the image. Okay, see? See the before and the after. You can see what we've done so far. The before and the after. Let me just turn off my Dodger Bond hair player so you can see it in real time. The before and the after. The before and the after. So that's for corrective Dodger and Bond. So I'm just going to continue doing this for the whole of the image. So I'm going to turn on my hair player again. And just look for an obvious place that is looking so dark and just dodge it just brighten it and an obvious place that's looking like this part right here is looking too dark i'm just going to brighten it up a little bit like so all right still before and the after also i'll come to my maze darkening those part of the image that are looking too bright like this part right here I'm just going to back in this part just to balance how light falls on the image. That's why I'm doing this dodge and burn right here. So this part are looking too bright. I'm just going to darken them a little bit like so. One thing you should know is it takes a lot of time to do dodge and burn. All right. So when you're doing it, just be patient when doing this. All right. So I'm just going to continue doing this for the whole of this image. All right. So let's see. See the before. And the after for our creative dodge and burn uh before and after so like i said earlier just take your time to do this so let's turn off the hair player so you can see what we've done so far with just the creative dodge and burn see our before and after our before and after so that's how the creative dodge and burn works and how you can use it now let's talk about the macro dodge and burn now for macro dodge and burn you have to zoom in inside your image and work on the pulse so instead of just doing the obvious place like corrective dodge and burn. For macro dodge and burn, you have to zoom in, look at the image and actually take your time to do it. By doing this, you're actually shaping how light falls on your image, thereby making your image look smooth. So it's the same principle. The only difference is for macro, you are going to zoom all the way in and just work on the pause and just make sure you get everything right. But it's the same principle. Dodge is to brighten, white bomb is to darken. So to do that, I'm going to come to this full left academy again and click on macro dodge and burn right here. So under the dodge and burn, I'm going to click on macro right here. And once I click on macro, I want to turn on my hair player again. Once I turn on my hair player, what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to play with the black and white so that I can see where to dodge and where to burn even more better. All right, so I think like this works for me. So like I said, for macro, we are going to be zooming all the way inside like this. So I'm going to come to my macro dodge and burn group. This one that says face brightness, we are going to be painting on the bright part of the image. While this one that says pause, we are going to be working on the dark part of the image. So let me just explain that. If I take my pass it to 100, so if I select this fixed brightness right here, if I just paint on this part that is looking too bright, it's just going to make that part dark, as you can see, the before and the after. All right, why for the pause? If I brush on the dark part of the image, it's just going to make it bright, as you can see, the before and the after. So that's how this boat works. So I'm just going to delete this, all right, and take my opacity to 2% and just zoom in like this. 
take a white brush and just come to the pores and just paint on this pores right here that is looking dark just to brighten this pores up so right now we are working on the pores just to make everything look really good so macro dodge and burn takes a lot of time like a lot of time you can spend hours doing this but it gives the best results when it comes to skin retouching it gives the best results all right so i'm just going to paint like this and just quickly show you the before and after so you can have an idea of what i'm trying to do all right so just increase and decrease your brush size according to the pause you are working on because we are definitely working on pause that's why i'm zoomed all the way in like so all right so let me quickly show you the before and after so you can see what we've done so far so see the before and the after so you have an idea of what i'm trying to do i'm just going to do this for the whole of this image so dodge and burn takes a lot of time especially if you want to get a really really good result so basically this is how it works the only thing now is for you to sit down and actually take your time to do it after you finish understanding how it works so basically those pores that are looking dark we are just brightening it up with dodge why those pores that are looking bright we are just burning it with burn as you can see so that's what we are going to do for the whole of the image all right so i'm just using this particular part right here so you can actually understand what i'm trying to do all right so see the before the before and the after let me turn off my hair player so you can see the before and the after all right so take a look at this part see the before and the after the before and the after so you have an idea so let's just work on this particular part so you can see the before and after let's work on the cheek so you can see all right so if i want to fix the back part of the image i'm going to come to this pause right here and just paint on those dark parts of the image all right so you can see how zoomed in i am so for macro the jambon you have to zoom all the way in like this to see what you are doing so see the before and the after so it's looking really really good also if you are doing this make sure you don't overdo it all right so if you overdo it your image is going to look too smooth and it's going to lose textures all right so also be careful when doing this so you don't lose textures on your image okay so i'm just going to paint on those parts that are looking too dark just to brighten them up all right so let's quickly see the before and after of what we've done for that particular place you can see see the before and the after the before and the after so let's turn off this helping layer so you can see it every time see the before and the after the before and the after if you feel it's too much you can just come to your opacity and take down the opacity a little bit the before the before and the after so basically that's what macro dodge and burn and i'm going to take my time to do that for the whole of this image just to smoothing it out all right so i'm going to do that now i want to turn on my helping layer again zoom in I start doing my macro dodge and burn. So this part, I want to darken. So this part, I look too dark. I'm just going to brighten it. Just like this. All right. Let me come to the forehead. And just work on these parts. Okay. All right. So let's look at the before and after for our macro dodge and burn. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see I went inside and just did the pause. So take a look at the cheek right here see the before and the after the before and the after so if i turn off this happy layer you can see how good the image is looking already see the before and the after the before and the after for our macro dodge and burn so if you want to get a more better result make sure you spend time doing this all right now finally let's talk about contour dodge and burn now, contour dodge and burn is a little bit different from macro dodge and burn and corrective dodge and burn. In the sense that, instead of brightening the dark part of the image or darkening the bright part of the image, we are going to be darkening the dark part of the image and brightening the bright part of the image. So with contour dodge and burn, we want to add depth and dimension to our image. Let me show you how that works and how you can do your contour dodge and burn. So to do my contour dodge and burn, I'm going to come to this Williams Academy again. I click on this global dodge and burn right here once i click on this global dodge and burn remember we use the mid brightening for our corrective dodge and burn 
for Toyota Jambon, we are going to be using the strong brightening and the strong darkening. So I'm going to select my strong brightening, pick my normal brush tool, take my opacity to 100% and flow 100%. I'm just going to brush on it. So I'm going to come to the bright part of the image. Anyway, there's highlights on my image. I'm just going to draw a line like this. All right. So I want to do the same thing. So I want to do it for this part of the image. Also come to the forehead, draw a line on the forehead like this. Also this part of the nose that is highlight. I'm just going to paint on it. I want to paint on this part right here. Also for burning, I want to come to this strong back right here. I want to do the same thing for the um, blush, just to darken the shadow part of the image, like so. All right. Do the same thing for this part right here. Do the same thing for this part right here. Just draw a line around the image like this. So I'm going to draw a line right here. All right. And maybe under the neck as well, just to add shape and dimension to the image, maybe. Maybe this part of the nose, like so. Now, after doing this, with the strong darkness selected, I'm going to come to properties. Then, if you can find your properties, just come to windows and click on properties right here. And just going to open up the properties layer for you. Now, with the layer mask selected, come to feather and just feather it. Once you feather it, you can see what's happening. See the before and the after. The before and the after. I'm going to do the same thing for the strong brightening, which is the dodge. I want to come to a feather and just feather it as well, just to spread the effect. All right. So let's see the before and after. The before and the after. The before and the after. You can see it just adds depth to our image. And if you feel it's too much, you can either reduce the opacity of this of the um, dodge or opacity of the burn depending on which one you think is too much or you can just reduce the opacity of the whole group all right see our contour dodge and burn see the before and the after the before and the after and if you feel it's not enough you can just duplicate the group by pressing our command j or control j to make the effect even more intense but i'm not going to be doing that i'm not going to release this copy so see the before and the after so let me just group everything i've done so far so you can see how we've used Dodge and burn to edit this image and just make the image look good. All right, so see our before and after, our before and after. So this is how you can understand and use Dodge and burn to retouch your image. I hope you find this video useful and helpful. And if you want to learn how to edit your image from start to finish using Dodge and burn, click on this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay cool too.